Hello my soccer universe. It's another rest day at the FCON and you know at these days I am taking it easy trying to do some other things. <laughs> Not only at the channel. I'm actually ready for some vacation after this very intense month with three competitions. So yeah. Um, it will slow down and then we'll pick right up when the club season starts somewhere in mid-August. But I think up until then I'm probably gonna take uh some sort of break with stuff but let's see i'm wearing my ghana jersey and i'm gonna look at another afcon jersey which is actually the team that eliminated ghana and i know the irony is not lost on me but um when i went through which african jerseys i got next you know i had that the uh, algeria jersey was my fourth one and technically although i received them at the same time the Tunisia jersey should definitely be the fifth one because that's the one uh, that I picked first because I wanted to I saw it and I wanted to get it because uh, it is somewhat special so let's have a look at it it was fortunately quite cheap I think I paid only around 10 euros for it and uh, the main reason why I wanted to get it is because it still has the old crest that the new crest came around the World Cup in 2006. I like this one a lot better. First of all, uh, it has some cultural interest. You have kind of the Tunisian emblem in there. It says the FTF, then there's some Arabic here. Then there's a laurel leaf and I think a palm leaf. It says Tunisia here and then palm trees. And most importantly, there is no um, eagle with cropped wings on there. Don't get me wrong, I like eagles a lot. You see me wearing my Mali jersey here and there. Um, but I think the way it's done on the Tunisian crest, it's just the wings just are off. I think the crest would look better without the wings. Give the eagle full wings, not just a, a little bit like that. But yeah, uh, it is a Puma jersey. This is actually the same template was worn when Tunisia won the AFCON in 2004 on home soil, their first win. And that's why you have the star here. But this is actually the version that was uh, worn uh, during the Confederations Cup and I guess that's why I could get it from uh, uh, there because you know for the such a big tournament you have to issue jerseys however it's a very weird uh, jersey in many ways first of all I really like the template this color uh, reminds me more of 70s style uh, sock soccer jersey so that I like um, but note that the crest is very much stitched it has the star for the AFCON win but the number here is completely printed on down to the ventilation same thing goes for the puma logo and even more weird for the tag here this is entirely printed on uh, but you know I have puma jerseys from around that time I mean this is a legit tag also this uh, while the sleeve cuffs are stitched on this piping uh, with the stripes the silver and red stripe along the sleeve is not and you know not the Tunisian flag. This is all printed on, which I find for a soccer jersey quite interesting. Uh, on the back side, another stitching occurs Tunisia, whereas Jaziri, this is again, look at it, all printed on it. Actually, you can feel the material. I am wondering of how well this will hold up. It's actually kept very nicely by on the bottom. The tail is outlined by also a red uh, cloth. Maybe the only thing that's a little bit bothersome that the reds are a slightly different tone. I think that could have been done better. I do like that there is a Tunisia flag here. I really like this template. I really think this is a great looking jersey. I had the chance and unfortunately didn't materialize to get also the one for the 2010. They didn't qualify then, but you know, this had a really nice eagle where like the Algeria jersey has uh, the Fennec. It would have had the eagle, but as a jersey overall, A, this is kind of a successful jersey, I gotta say. B, not at the Confederations Cup. I saw Tunisia play Spain at the World Cup in 2006. So, you know, it's kind of in that area. And yeah, it's the template worn at the AFCON in 2004 and for that reason I think it's well worth it. Um, I find the numbering style a little bit weird, same like how the R's are here, but you know, I've seen it even on the local uh, flea market page, red ones and white ones, uh, quite frequently and they all look great and um, again, you cannot beat this crest. 
uh, as for Tunisia, at least uh, compared to, I, it really looks nice. Even the soccer ball here is nice. I think they should go back to something like this or redesign the, cur cur the current one. Uh, put the eagle there. Uh, fun fact, as far as I know, uh, Tunisia are the eagles of Carthage. Uh, that nickname only came around at, in 2004, so it's clear that there is no uh, eagle there yet, but you know, you can do something more. I really, this looks really cool. Now, I don't know now exactly how the national emblem of Tunisia looks like, but I would imagine it's some, probably just this circle this with the moon, you know. But you never know, maybe there's something much better there, much nicer looking. Gotta look it up. Um, let me know what you think about this jersey. Uh, as I said, Tunisia I needed to get because I've been to Tunisia already. So, and I want to get a jersey from every country I've been to. So this is check mark down the list. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this jersey. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more jerseys of mine or some jersey reviews or my thoughts on recent games like the AFCON. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.